Hey guys, this is Scarface Knife 5 here reviewing the Explorer Knife by Victoronox, a Swiss Army knife in the color red, but it does come in other colors if you so choose. And for those of you who don't know, Victoronox makes a whole slew of different varieties of Swiss Army knives with different number of tools and sizes. But I picked out the Explorer knife because this has a lot of the tools that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis without being overly bulky. So I really like this one. Previously I had already bought the Super Tinker, but I bought this one because this one has an additional corkscrew as well as magnifying glass. Mostly the corkscrew now that I am of age and I would like to open some wine bottles. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. The Explorer knife comes with 16 functions as they call it because some of the tools have more than one function in it. Having multi-purpose tools allows it to fit in a smaller package. You can see it fits in the palm of my hand and it's just under 4 inches in length and also about 3 quarters inch thick. The two outer sides flanking the tool set are made out of plastic and of course the inside tools are made out of stainless steel which every now and then would need to be oiled because of the joints that constantly be opening and closing. As you can see since this is still relatively new I can still see bits of the oil in place near the joints. So now with the basics out of the way let's go ahead and dive into every single tool that this knife comes with. So first off, let's start with the ones that come out of the side. This is a tweezers. It is metal and it's very handy. I can pick up really small items. You can also help pick out splinters with these as well. On the flip side is a reusable toothpick. It's also really handy to get grime out from underneath your fingernails, for instance, as well. Now let's move on to the main set of tools. So one side is much more heavily set than the other. Let's start with the more heavily set side. So this first one here is a flathead Phillips screwdriver as well as a bottle opener and also a wire stripper right there at the bottom. On the other side is a small flathead Phillips screwdriver as well as a can opener. Moving down the line is the little magnifying glass. Now they have made several different iterations of this with different plastic materials and I think this latest one is probably their best one. It's still made out of this one piece of plastic except that the handle part is frosted and of course the lens part is clear. Opposite to that is a Phillips head screwdriver. I believe it is a size 4 even though it doesn't specify it anywhere on the website. But it is a typical Phillips uh, screw size that I do use quite often. And then we have the tiny little pair of scissors and I have to say I think I probably use this tool the most out of all of the bunch. It works out quite well for like opening letters or just cutting some paper every now and then when I least expected to need a pair of scissors. Uh, but I had also previously used this pair of scissors a lot on my Super Tinker Swiss Army knife and after a while it just kind of started to stick. As you can see it doesn't really spring back as well but since I haven't used so much of it on my current knife it's still pretty springy but do keep in mind you'll probably lose its springiness after some time. And now we move on to the large knife. So this is a bigger blade as opposed to the other smaller blade which is less than 2 inches in length. So there's definitely differences between the two if you want to I don't know, cut larger items. Personally I always stick with the smaller one to open uh, mail or something like that. I just kind of save the bigger one for other cutting needs. Now moving on to the underbelly, we have the corkscrew, which is the main reason why I bought this one for. And it works pretty well for opening wine bottles, as you can see here. I do appreciate that it is at a 90 degree angle, which makes insertion and also leverage for putting the cork out of the bottle much easier. And then the next tool is probably the most useless tool in my opinion. It's a hook. On the website it advertises that you can use this to hold grocery bags but I can't imagine why anybody would want to take this out to carry grocery bags which you can just carry using your own bare hands. So that's kind of useless in my opinion. And then finally the last one is a reamer and I have used this to make more holes in a belt for instance. So that's also a handy tool to have. And the final bit on this Swiss Army knife is actually the keychain, which they advertise it to be a feature. So in actuality, there really are only 15 functions or tools in this Swiss Army knife. 
So this particular Swiss Army knife, the Explorer, I think is great for everyone. I don't see why somebody wouldn't need a pair of scissors, knives, or a toothpick, tweezers, anytime. I think this is something that's really universal and some of the other Swiss Army knives are kind of more dedicated. But I think this can apply to pretty much anyone. It can cost about $40 on Amazon. As usual, I'll put the link in the description so where I can find it at the cheapest price. But I think for the money, it's well worth it. It's a Swiss Army knife, which means it's made only in Switzerland very great quality knife set here and you won't regret picking this up thank you for watching this video if you found it helpful please give it a like you'd be greatly appreciated and make sure to subscribe to my channel sky first knife 5 if you haven't already to get more content like this or if you're watching this on amazon head over to my channel url right here or just search it up on youtube sky first knife 5 there you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings feel free to browse or if you want to search for something specific just hit that search field that'll do it for this video this is sky first knife 5 thanks for watching